A truck ran through a storefront just a few weeks ago. KIDK Eyewitness News 3 reporter Chelsea Breyer spoke with the business owner who says he and the art community he supports are still working to recover. The truck took out the front window, a fish tank, electric guitars, amps, small electronics, and plants. Shop owner Sean Waters says he was a few blocks away when the accident happened. His first priority when he arrived was the fish. Everything else in the world's material. We can have everything in the world or lose it all in one day, and none of it really matters, but when you lose a family member, a friend, a pet, it's something that lasts a lifetime. You know, and so that, that was our main impact is uh, losing our fish. I know this sounds kind of funny, but um, losing the fish was the main thing. Today, he says he's still waiting on insurance and contractors to fix his shop. Waters has no idea when the repairs will be made. It's going to be getting mighty cold here soon. My gas bill is already up, so there's already extra costs involved with just a simple accident happen. And, you know, no, no blame to him. Hippie Down is currently boarded up. Waters says business has slowed down dramatically since the crash. He fears most customers assume the business has closed down. We're definitely open for business. You know, we're not going to let little things slow us down or stop us, um, especially during COVID. Everyone's struggling right now. Little businesses, small businesses, those are the ones that really need the help. Other locals may be feeling the impact from the accident. We have 40 local artists in here, so it's not it's not just our shop that's affected. It's, you know, I've got 40, 50 people that rely on cells and traffic to come through here um, to make their cells and to feed their kids as well. Many of those local artists have reached out to Waters to offer their help, but he says support from sales is the greatest help Hippie Down needs right now. Accidents happen every day. It could have been anybody. It could have been my own brother that ran into the shop, you know, so I'm not, I'm not upset about that. It's, uh, it's the comeback. It's trying to come back from the loss of traffic, you know, the loss of wages and things that we've had to put back in to get things back in order. Despite the added hardship, Hippie Down's good vibes seem to be alive and well. I could be really upset about the guy driving into the building. I could be upset about the damage, but essentially it, it can all be replaced. Nobody was hurt. That was the main thing. He was okay. His dog was okay. Um, for the most part, I was able to save one of my fish, so that was a bonus. Reporting in Idaho Falls, I'm Chelsea Breyer. Water says volunteers have been coming in to clean and help get the shop fixed up so Hippie Down can look like a normal functioning business. He says the plywood that now boards up the front window came from a random citizen who saw the scene of the crash and donated his leftover wood.